Hi, this is Greg Robinson from MyPhotographyShow.com and today I'm going to critique this image that came from Tom. Thanks Tom for sending this image in for a critique. Uh, what I propose is to critique this image in three different parts. The first one being uh, your settings. The second one will be talking about your composition. And the third one will be talking about your lighting and colors. Okay, so let's go straight ahead onto the settings. Okay, so as I see, you have chosen 200 ISO for 1 125th of a second in shutter speed and an aperture of f5.6. Now, why? I'm going to try and guess because this is exactly what I would have done. Uh, ISO 200 is your lowest ISO, and given that in these conditions you have enough light to go down, perfect choice. Uh, 200 ISO will bring you the less noise possible. Great choice. Your second choice must have been your aperture, uh, which was wide open at f5.6, to isolate your subject. Now, why would you want to isolate your subject? Uh, just to make it basically the main subject in the image, which is a perfect choice. And, well, with those two settings already set, basically your camera proposed to, to use sorry, uh, a 1 1 of a second shutter speed, which was a great choice, and it en enables you to um, shoot handheld, so great on that. Now, let's move on to composition. Compositionally, I really, really like this image. Why? Um, the first reason is you're respecting the rule of thirds. Now, what is the rule of thirds? For those of you who do not know, uh, I'm going to create a grid where you have two vertical lines of 33%. Um, well, one of 33%, the other one is 66% because we're cutting the image in two thirds. But we're also going to cut it in two thirds uh, horizontally. Okay? So if I go 33% here, and once again, horizontal 66%. Now these intersect intersecting points, sorry, are your main um, eye catchers. Okay, this is where the viewer is going to look in the image. What I like about Tom's image is the fact that the cup is respecting this vertical third here, uh, and even on this top one. I don't know if you did that on purpose, but well done. That was really spot on. And the center of the cup is on the, is on the bottom one here. So perfect composition. Um, there would probably be one thing that I would suggest, uh, you probably did this, but changing your point of view, why can we see inside the cup? Why is the viewer on top of the cup? Okay. Uh, one interest in that would be the fact that we relate to this kind of image and kind of having our tea, well for me it's tea, for others it might be coffee, uh, in the morning sun. I get it, perfect. Um, another interesting point of view would have been probably to lower your camera like that and get a point of view kind of being at the same angle as your cup, uh, which would have changed radically your composition, obviously, because your table, instead of being uh, as practically parallel to us as that, would have been slightly more at an angle, so gone off more into the distance. Uh, it could have been interesting. Things to try out. Also, why don't we see a liquid inside the cup? Should we see a liquid? These are kind of things you, you could ask yourself and try out when you're doing this kind of shot, okay? Uh, otherwise compositionally perfect, especially that the cup is on the left here. What's great about that is in the occidental world that we live in, we generally tend to read from left to right. So on the left should be the most important stuff we want to show the viewer and then go off onto the right to get uh, the rest of the image we want to show, which is where you have this lovely shadow. So great going on that too. Um, another question that I thought was I see you put the cup next to the um, the end of the table. Now, was this a choice of yours, or didn't you think about that? I don't know. I would have probably put it closer into the table. You know, moved it to the other edge and pushed the table further into the um, into the composition. So that this line here that indicates the end of the table would have probably been higher, if not taken up the whole composition, which could have been interesting as well. Uh, but that would have given an entirely new image. Now, let's move on to lighting and color. You asked me this question in the description. I'm going to answer you now. Uh, was it a good idea to have these three colors, which are black, brown, and pink? Well, for black and brown, no problem. Pink, maybe not. <laughs> and I would have suggested using a white cup, uh, especially that this one has pink, it has green, uh, which you can see here. It has blue over here and another green here and a bit of yellow here with some texture inside the cup um, with different patterns. I mean, it gets confusing. You see what I mean? Uh, the viewer 
he just wants to see a cup, he or she, sorry, just wants to see a cup. Um, I would have proposed using a white cup or a black cup maybe, although that's not too common. But a simple white cup could have sufficed and would have been probably more interesting, less distracting in the image, okay? Um, that's what I would have suggested on that, so no go on the pink. Uh, otherwise, this is a great image, thank you very much for having sent it in. Please don't hesitate to send others in if you have other ideas or other projects, don't hesitate. Other people who are watching this video, this video, I hope you learned something too from this, and that you will send your images too. Don't hesitate, I'm here for that, I'd be more than pleased to critique them. Uh, hope to see you soon, and until then this is Greg from myphotographyshow.com saying you keep shooting and you have fun shooting.